So while we're on the subject of, of you know, you growing up and, and being around so many people who went on to have great careers, um, I did come across a story of, of you and Steve playing hockey and dropping the gloves when you're on the same team in one game. Uh, I read. I, I think it was because one didn't pass to the other. Uh, yeah. can, you, can you recall that one? And, and I just generally, I wondered what it was like, um, that relationship was like growing up with, with two guys chasing careers in, in pro sports. Yeah, I mean, we were, we battled every day growing up. Just yeah. we played whatever it was. We, we played every sport. And I think uh, that was where our parents were like, do you want to play hockey? You want to play lacrosse? We played everything. And the the one thing that they did do was, um, I often played up a year, so I started soccer year early. My dad was an ex professional soccer player, so we were playing since we could walk. So he had my brother's team. I played up a year, and I stayed with that team till I was twelve, I think. And then we, you know, we just added sports. I made do. Let's go. Let's play. But we were just so intense. We were always playing something and competing at something um, all the way up till he went to university. So we just battled each other nonstop and um, we just happened to be good, good at sports too. So we were kind of the best in every sport almost. And we just battled each other in, in the backyard. We had a school behind us. We'd play basketball, soccer, baseball, whatever it was. Didn't always last too long. Cause if it got to a fight, I ran off pretty quick. Cause he's <laughs> taller, but uh, yeah, we, it was, it was fun though. We, we have a lot of uh, great memories growing up. Yeah. Your sister, uh, Joanne's a decent athlete as well. I understand. She's a very good athlete. Yeah, she was yeah. a really good basketball Lady Vikes, player. right? Sorry? The Lady Vikes, right? Yeah, so she was a very good soccer player and basketball player, and she probably could have gone either way, but she just had a bit more passion for soccer and played yeah. five years at UVic. She was a captain for three of them, I think, and uh, had a great career. I think uh, her only disappointment, I think the year after she graduated, they won the national championship, oh. so she never mm. got to experience that, but uh, no, she was a very good athlete, uh, good player, and um, yeah. Yeah. As for your brother, though, uh, for Steve, was there a moment uh, that you can recall where you realized that, you know, you could be a very special talent and end up having the career they did? Um, I don't know if there was a moment. Um, it kind of it kind of hit pretty quick in, in yeah. a lot of ways. He was. Uh, I mean, he was he's deranged. I don't know if that's the right <laughs> word. He's, you know, the amount how hard he worked. Yeah. Uh, and I think all um, all top, like you look at Ronaldo's, Messi's, they don't get there because they just good, right? right? They work incredibly hard every day, day in, day out, um, and that's what he would like. He would he would spend hours in the rain, in the snow, in the backyard, even before he was in college, shooting mm -hmm. hoops. When he once he kind of chose basketball as a sport, so and he got to the NBA, he kept working. He just had the same work ethic. He would just go practice in the morning, go to the gym in the afternoon and shoot around. He was crazy almost to an extent, but that's how, that's how you have to be if you want to get to the top. And, uh, you know, it was for us, it was amazing when he just made the all-star team. We flew everyone in, flew our family from England, flew, uh, you know, immediate family we all went to Philly, uh, had a great weekend. And, you know, we never knew, we never thought he'd get higher than that, to be honest. It was just something that happened because he got in the right place at the right time. And, you know, the right team and um, had an incredible couple seasons, if not more. And um, yeah, it was, uh, it was amazing to be along for the ride, to be honest. Yeah. 